This video is made for the sake of entertainment and is by no means a real long video or intended for children whatsoever. If you're expecting a real, real long video, don't watch this. This is taken from Mike's Toontown. Another note, this entire series was inspired by Mike's Toontown, and I mean the entire series. So, every time we have one of these, or I, since I'm the only one here in this channel, I'll mention him every time, because, well, I, I just don't know how it inspired me, but anything is possible. So, hats off to you, Mike's Toontown. Let's just begin. Last episode, I told you all to vote on Twitter on these four books for the next nostalgic stories. Spongebob and the Princess, Jimmy Strikes Out, The Timmy Touch, and Chasing Dad. After a week of voting, the final results are in. And the winner is Spongebob and the Princess by two votes. Jimmy Strikes Out only has one vote, and the rest had zero votes. There will be another poll after this video has been uploaded on Twitter so you can vote for the other three books. But for now, let's not waste any time and get to Spongebob and the Princess. So, since it's a Spongebob book, it's time for Squidward to voice, And Eugene H. Krabs, and yes, I like money. Hey, what are you idiots talking about? Oh, Ren, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm reading a book. A book? Yeah. Oh, joy, a book can we join? No, the same about you guys, but you can watch us read. Or me. Sure, I'm kind of bored anyway. Eh, alright, fine. But this better be good. I can't make any promises, Ren. Hey, by the way, we might send you something, guys. And watch that. It'll be a surprise. You, are you guys thinking what I think you're thinking? That's just a baby, we haven't decided yet. Can we start, please? Oh, yes. This copy of the book also contains a second story called Spongebob Lost in Time, but I'm not reading that since it's a direct copy from the Lost in Time television special, and that will be the only rule for nostalgic stories. I would not be reading any stories that are a direct copy from a TV episode, I saw some for Fairy Off Parents as well, and maybe other Nicktoons will follow, so I'm not reading any of these because you can just basically watch it on the television. It's just the book version, nothing else, so that's the only rule. So, let's get started. Well, might as well try all my impressions, and hey, since it's Spongebob, why not we include the French narrator? At the Krusty Krab, Spongebob was happily pushing a mop across the floor. What kind of impression was that, you absolute idiot? I have to agree with Ren, that was pitiful. Disgrace upon you, Matt. I'm trying my best here. Why don't you try Spongebob? He's up next! Well, okay, I'll give it a try. I'm mopping, mopping, mopping that crusty floor! <laughs> wow, that was so bad. I actually kinda like that. Yeah, you kinda fucks up for me. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, my belly button hurts! Yeah, thanks, guys. That wasn't actually that bad. Oh, hey, SpongeBob. Yeah, that was okay, but you could do better than that. I know you can do it. Oh, you want to read along with us? Yeah, sure. Oh, boy. Mr. Squidward, just do it. All right, fine. He's saying to himself, SpongeBob! Yelled Mr. Krabs. I'm going to count me beautiful for money, said Mr. Krabs. So no visitors, got it? Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs. Said SpongeBob, just don't grab any paper and you won't sneeze. Like you did every time in Nicktoon Nicktoons. What are you talking about? You sneeze every time you grab paper in Nicktoons Nicktoons. That's not really true. Mr. SquarePants, you lied to me again? What are you talking about? Lie to me again and you're fired. Fired? Read. Mr. Krabs, let's take it easy here. <laughs> yeah. Oh joy, what a good story this is! It just started, you idiot! Just chill, my friends. We're just getting started. Just as a loud truck pulled up on side. Honk, honk, beep, beep. Welcome to the outside of the Krusty Krab. May I help you? SpongeBob shouted at the driver, trying to make himself heard over the noise of the truck. Where's Mr. Krabs? The driver asked. Counting his money! So he should not be disturbed at all, answered Spongebob. Maybe I can help you. What? 
yelled the driver. SpongeBob cupped his hands to his mouth. Maybe I can help you! Tell Mr. Krabs that Princess Napkins will be here tomorrow, said the driver. What? yelled SpongeBob. Princess Delivery will be here tomorrow, the driver shouted back. Got it! said SpongeBob, giving a big thumbs up. The driver drove off. Hop and clams, said SpongeBob. Wait till Squidward hears this. I don't see the attention of this book. Relax, Ren, it just started. You're gonna have to learn to have more patience. Like you don't have any patience, Squidward? What's that supposed to mean, SpongeBob? Oh, a joke. <laughs> Patrick, what are you doing here? You're fired. But I don't even work here. It's like a job starting now. Boy, would I. You're fired. He's in the story, Mr. Krabs. Let him stay. All right, fine. <laughs> Can I have the hat? No. SpongeBob burst into the Krusty Krab. Guess what, Squidward? A princess will be here tomorrow. Squidward doesn't look up. What princess will be caught dead in this dump? He asked gloomily. Stop the move! So, you think my restaurant is a dump, eh, Mr. Squidward? Now, I was following the script, Mr. Krabs, and you get just a book. One more fell my breath there, and you're fired! Come on, Mr. Krabs. Are you still salty over Angelica Pickles, Mr. Krabs? Oh, Matt, you're fired! I don't even work here. Would you like a job? No, don't even play that, just continue. Alright, fine! Okay, 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 cut the crap. What are you idiots talking about Angelica for? Is this something we need to know about her? No, not at all. Yeah, not at all. We'll just, uh, uh well, allow me to explain. You better not, Mr. Chester. Why? Well, oh, that's what you think. I knew it. All right, all right, all right. I'll keep my mouth shut. What is it? It's nothing. Please continue. Okay, okay. But then he brightened. Unless it's Princess Neptuna. Nep Nept <laughs> Neptuna. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> oh joy, I had a bit of luck with that one. Why are you laughing at that junk, Stimpy? It's even worse than that cartoon you keep watching. Why you say what I think you're saying? Eh, forget it anyway. That's what I thought, Ren. Alright, continuing on. It doesn't seem likely, but for once, SpongeBob, I believe you! I love royalty! They are so... royal. <laughs> SpongeBob grinned. I can't wait to tell Patrick and Sandy and Mrs. Pa- Squidward shook his head. No, no, don't tell anyone! Royal people love their privacy. Squidward figured he had a much better chance of getting Princess Neptuna's autograph if no one else was around. Really? said Spongebob puzzled. Gee, I thought princesses loved crowds! Squidward sniffed. Heh, you commoner, you know nothing about royalty. Well, duh, he's an idiot! Hey, I heard that! Good! Now, Ren, be respectful. Shut up, you fool! Alright, you boys, settle down. I don't want another fight on my hands. Yeah, I know, right? Oh my gosh! What are you talking about? Shut up, Patrick. Yeah, shut up, Patrick! Aww. Alright, boys, enough say horsing around. Let's keep going. SpongeBob fought hard. Well, I had to tell Mr. Krabs. No! Yelled Squidward. He'll ruin everything. But Squidward! Said SpongeBob. It's my duty as a Krusty Krab employee! Squidward put his arm around Spongebob. Listen, Spongebob, he said. Would you like me to teach you how to behave around royalty? Spongebob's eyes grew big. You teach me, Squidward! Of course, said Squidward, smiling. Tonight? Asked Spongebob, his eyes growing even bigger. Um, okay said Squidward. At your house? Spongebob's eyes were huge. With snacks? Squidward swallowed hard. Bleep. Sure, Spongebob. I'm inviting you to my house for royalty lessons and 
snacks. Hooray! SpongeBob shouted. I'll be there, and tomorrow the princess will be here. Hold it! You mean to tell me you're gonna hide this from me, Mr. Squidward? You know that's against the Krusty Krab rules! Oh no, not this again. And did somebody say snacks? Shut up, Patrick! Yeah, shut up, Patrick. You idiot! Shut up to talking! One more of that, Mr. Squidward, and you are completely fired! Guys, calm down, we need to continue the story. Shut up, SpongeBob. Boys, and I mean it too! I am reckless! Probably because I'm a joke. No! Alright, alright. In his office, Mr. Krabs heard SpongeBob shouting. Better see what me employees are up to! He said, hurrying over to a picture on the wall. He lifted and peered through a peephole, just in time to hear SpongeBob say, Tomorrow the princess will be here! Princess! whispered Mr. Krabs. Princesses are rich, and people love to see them. People who could be my brain customers! All I have to do is let everyone know a princess is coming to the Krusty Krab tomorrow. <sighs> Wait, you mean to tell me you are eavesdropping on us, Mr. Krabs? Well, I am your boss after all. I just gotta make sure you boys don't slack off. But you know better. You're worse than Squidward. Hey, I'm gonna tell your mom, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, me too. No, please! Not my mommy! M Spongebob, no. Let's let it slide. He is your boss. Though, fine. Just don't do it again. I gotta make sure you don't slack off. That night, Squidward tried to teach Spongebob how to act properly around a princess. No, no, Spongebob. He scolded. Never gonna go when you bow to Princess Neptuna. But Squidward... Said Spongebob. I can't help it. Patrick looks kind of funny. Patrick adjusted his crown. Gee, thanks a lot, SpongeBob, he said. I think I look beautiful. Wait, you think you're beautiful in that, Patrick? <laughs> What's so funny? Come on, you're a tubby. Tubby? <laughs> Nobody calls me tubby! <laughs> Ow! My head. Patrick, you're fired! You want some too? Oh yeah, bring it on! Bring it on! These claws aren't for attracting mates! You idiot! Stop fighting! Meanwhile, Mr. Krabs was busy placing up signs all over Bikini Bottom, announcing Princess Neptuna's arrival at the Krusty Krab. He chuckled to himself. This ought to bring in the customers, he said. And their money. As SpongeBob approached the Krusty Krab, the next morning, he saw almost all Bikini Bottom waiting outside. Gee, he said, there sure are a lot of people hungry for delicious Krabby Patties today. Just then, Squidward showed up. Oh no, he cried. They must all be here to see Princess Neptuna. He angrily turned to SpongeBob. You blabbered to everyone about the princess! No, Squidward! Answered Spongebob. I was over at your house, remember? Squidward scrunched up his face in confusion. Then how did they all find out? Right this way! Barked Mr. Krabs. This way to see the princess! Customers with money only! Oh, Patrick gave me a blind eye. Don't call Patrick Tubby again. I guess I won't do that. Just as bad as he was a security guard in Truth or Square. Come on, I didn't expect to pay real money for an actual security guard. Plus, Patrick is kind of strong. Hey, thanks. Does that mean I get a jet? Don't even think about it. Joy, this story just gets better and better. Shut the- The truck from the day before pulled up. An eager SpongeBob ran over. When would the princess be here? He whispered. The driver scratched his head and gave Spongebob a blank look. Yesterday you told me to tell Mr. Krabs a princess will be here tomorrow, explained Spongebob. The driver stared at Spongebob and then started laughing. <laughs> I said the princess delivery will be here tomorrow. You know, princess napkins. Spongebob's mouth drops open. Oh hey, Larry's here by the way. Cool. You mean Princess Neptuna isn't coming? Nope, the driver replied. 
unloading several boxes onto the ground. But here are your napkins. See ya! SpongeBob stared at the boxes. What good are napkins when I promise everyone the princess? He fought aloud. You idiot, SpongeBob! You shouldn't have done it from the start! He was difficult to hear. I do not care! Now I think he does have a good point. The truck must have been loud, very loud. But he is an idiot. <laughs> Mr. Squidward! But he sneezes with paper! Oh yeah, right! Come on, guys! It was just a spin-off! I don't care! Can we continue? Yes, Snippy, we can. SpongeBob spotted Patrick walking by. Patrick! He said, am I glad to see you? I need you to dress up as the princess again to fool the big crowd of customers. Patrick shook his head. No way, SpongeBob. Last night you said I looked funny. Yeah, yeah, yes, but, 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 said SpongeBob sputtering. Nope, nope, no buts about it, said Patrick stubbornly. I'm not going to look ridiculous in front of all these people. And he put on his beanie propeller hat and turned to walk away. But Patrick, SpongeBob begged, who am I going to get to be the princess? Hey, wait, look that! <laughs> that was funny. You, you look like an idiot. <laughs> he does look kind of funny. <laughs> now, how does it feel to be loved, that SpongeBob? Guys, it's not that funny. Quit laughing at me. Come on, we're only four years around. Right, Stimpy? Yeah, Ren. You know, that was with all of that trouble there. It was actually pretty funny. You're right, Stimpy. I am sorry I'm ever so mean to you. Better than nothing, buddy. Pal. Yeah, SpongeBob, I'm gonna take a joke. Yeah, besides, that's payback. Alright, can we just continue on? But wait a minute! What about the real princess thingamajiggy? I stopped the entire gig! Because you eavesdropped! We're not gonna discuss this again! Well, if we just continue the story, we'll figure out the answer. We won't if we just stand around and just do nothing. Yeah, good knowledge of that one. Shut up, you fool! But, Ren, well... Boys, let's just keep going! Oh boy, this is gonna be grand. How long were your subjects from Bikini Bottom? SpongeBob cried to the crowd. I, I, I am your princess! Everyone turned and stared at SpongeBob. That's Princess Neptuna? Someone shouted. Uh, of course I am! Squeaked SpongeBob. Well, it's sure been great to see you, and now if you'll excuse me. Oh! <laughs> Boy, Stimpy, he just gets better. I'm just following the book, guys. Yeah, and I gotta say, you did put in a performance. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, sorry, boys, I uh, had some pie. I think they smell some pie. No, no. I was very careful that time. Oi! That's not Princess Neptuna! said a guy with a very loud voice. That's just some guy dressed up in a princess costume! The crowd mumbled angrily. Get him! They yelled. Everyone started to rush towards Spongebob. Before the crowd reached Spongebob, a magnificent boat pulled up. The door opened and a princess climbed out. Hello everyone! She said, smiling and waving. I am Princess Neptuna! <laughs> Guys, can I please read? After I'm finished. <laughs> yeah, your voice is funny too, Mr. Chesser. You're funny too. Thanks. No, no, keep reading, keep reading. Alright, fine. I guess it's okay, but it could have been better. I know I'm not good with impressions. Of course you're not, you idiot! Thanks, Ren. You can stop calling me an idiot. Do you call everyone an idiot? Do you call everyone you mean an idiot? Yes, it's fun. Very fun. <laughs> Forget it. You sound like, you kind of sound like Beavis. You idiot, shut up! 
Continue! Alright, alright, alright. Where is I? You made me lose track. Oh, I was right here. SpongeBob hoped he could remember the royalty list and school would have given him. He bowed several times and got down on one knee. Taking her hand in his, SpongeBob said, Hello, Princess Neptuna. What brings you to this humble establishment? La Krusty Krab. Well, she answered, I saw the crowd, so I stopped to see what was going on. I just loved crowds. Wow, so apparently this crowd was wrong. Yeah, I'm not wrong all the time. Shut up, you idiot. Boys, settle down. We're almost at the very end. What we'll the last page, after all. Princess Neptuna signed autographs for everyone, including Squidward. She even tried a Krabby Patty. This Krabby Patty is delicious, Myrtle SpongeBob, she said. But it's a little messy. SpongeBob brought over a box. How would you like your very own box of Princess Napkins? He asked. The princess smiled. You shouldn't know how to treat a princess, SpongeBob. Well, that was a... It was a good story. Yeah, I was just about to, you know... Until you guys ruin everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. We just figured maybe we should have some fun with it, you know, rapture. I hold my head. Shut up, you idiot! This book was okay, but it's not a masterpiece. I like to be on back in my own books. Yeesh. What a bunch of grumps. Alright, let me just conclude this video. This is already a mess thanks to you guys barging in. Well, Stimpy, that was fine, I guess. Where are we going, Ren? We're going home. We'll see you guys later. Alright, my Ren, Stimpy. Well, that's it for another Nostalgic Stories book. We have finished Spongebob and the Princess. Yeah, I didn't like the princess part. Hey, dude, it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Uh, that would not be so hard. My belly button hurts. You already said that. But it's true. Come on, guys. Regardless, uh, we had some fun. So now we get to cross this book off the list. So the remaining three books are Jimmy Strikes Out, The Timmy Touch, and Chasing Dad. And there'll be another poll on Twitter. You can go and vote for the next book. Since one person voted for Jimmy Strikes Out, that might be the next book in this episode. Unless the has got overvoted this next poll. And I'm betting that Rocket Power is going to be picked last. Don't know why, but I just feel like that. Also, I have a little bit of an announcement I'm going to share on Twitter for new videos for this channel. It'll be on Monday, so I guess I gotta get prepared. I'm gonna relax a little bit on Sunday, you know, just chill out and whatnot. So, um, yeah. I hope you all enjoy, and, um, I'll be seeing you later for the next nostalgic story. But hey, that's just a production. Uh I have you now. Production. Thanks for.